Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Hello, hello, guys. Um, I'm going to show you today how to assign IP addresses to the to your computers, to your desktops. So to assign the IP addresses, um, we go to the network settings. If I'm using Windows 7 right now, so you might, if you are, if you guys are using XP, you might have a different kind of interface. So click Start. Go to Control Panel. In Control Panel. In Windows 7, we have option called Network and Internet, but in XP you find Network Connections. Um, so click View Network Status and Task. Over here in this, on the left-hand panel, we have options: Manage Wireless Networks, Change Adopter Settings, Change Advanced set, Sharing Settings. So we need to click Change Adopter Settings because uh, that's the adopter. Now over here you will find uh, different adopters um, built in within your system. That could be the local area connection, which is with the cable, and it will, you will see a wireless network connection, which is the Wi Fi. So, if you want to connect your computer with the cable, that you're going to be assigning IP addresses into lo local area connection. If you want to uh, use it as a Wi-Fi, as wireless, your device is wireless, then you're going to configure the IP address in wireless network connections. Um, I'm already connected to wireless. Uh, let's um, open the wireless network connections. So once you, you can open this dialog box by double clicking it, or you can open it either by clicking properties. In here we have um, Internet Protocol version 6, um, which is quite uh, in use right now, um, six. Uh, sorry, version four. Apologize. Internet Protocol version four, which is quite in use um, right now. Where version six is going to be the next version, the latest version. So, but we're going to be configuring version four. Highlight version four. Click properties, and over here you have dialog box that says Internet Protocol version four TCP/IP v4 properties. If you want to, uh, normally within the offices, um, we use manual or static IP addresses. Um, but if this option, which, which says obtain an IP address automatically, is selected, it means the router um, with which your device is connected to is assigning IP addresses to your device with DHCP server. But um, if you want to use, if you want to assign IP address manually, or if you want to assign a static IP address, we need to choose use the following IP address option and type the IP address here. For instance, the IP address given to you by your organization is 159.139.226. Let's say 65, and then subnet mask you may have been given um, 255.255. .255 dot two five five dot zero it it's um it's not compulsory that's going to be zero it could be one nine two or anything it depends on the structure the archi um, the architecture of your network it depends on how your network is is being built is being constructed so I just leave it as a zero for now which is normally you're going to see and then gateway uh, you normally find gateway very similar to the IP address um, so it's going to be 159.139.226. Most of most of the time, you're going to see dot one. Um, not necessarily, but most of the time. And over here, you're going to configure the DNS domain name server um, configuration. So for instance, your domain server, your DNS server, is uh, for instance. 19.24.25. Dot. Let's say 201. Oops. 25.201. And if you if your organization has alternate DNS server, you can um, type the address here. And after doing that, you click OK. And now. I get this message, the IP address 159.139.226.65 you have entered for this network adopter is already assigned to another adopter um, on this computer. 
if the same address is assigned to both adopters and they may both become active blah 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 so basically I can't use that one simple words just click now no again and uh, for now on we're going to cancel it because I'm using the internet connection from my ISP my internet service provider which is assigning the IP address um, uh, dynamically through DHCP so I can't use static but, but guys if you do the same thing on your local area connection right for instance I've done it here already here for you guys and you click OK and if this IP address um, was within the range of your network that you are connected to then you can use your device on the network with a cable and that's all I hope you have enjoyed the video and this was being informative to you thank you